And we are ready to go as Notre Dame will receive the football and Georgia will kick it off. And Jim Stone, number 42, and Ty Barber, number 12, are the deep men. Jimmy Stone is playing in his final game for the Fighting Irish. He's a senior out of Seattle. He's had a very fine year. Kicking off for Georgia will be a young man who has put his name in the Bulldog record book. His name is Rex Robinson, and he might very well, as a place kicker, be a most important figure for Georgia before this day is done. It was his 57-yard field goal that won the game against South Carolina. All of the officials are out of the Southwest Conference, and the game is on in the Sugar Bowl. The Irish let it go. Stone catches it as the ball threatened to bounce back outside of the end zone, and Jimmy Stone made a heads-up play. Mike Curry, we expect to start at quarterback for Notre Dame. We'll check it as soon as they're lined up. John Sweeney, the fullback. Pete Hollihan is a wide receiver, big guy, and Tony Hunter, the big play man. Blair Keel, the freshman, comes out. Blair Keel is the man that Dan Devine says seems to get him out of trouble. So he indicates Mike Curry is the man he may look to. And Keel will go long, throws it as far as he can for Tony Hunter, and he can't come down with it. Mike Fisher just barely broke it up. To go for the pick one on the first play. They go to the eye formation now, and Keel will go back and throw it again. He swings this one out to Phil Carter, and Carter gets two big blocks to get around the corner, and he is caught. Only one man had a real good chance to get him. First and ten for the Irish. It's Carter over the left side. Dives it up to the 44. He picked up two yards. And the fighting Irish front now. Mike Shiner at tackle. He is 250 pounds. Randy Ellis, a 251-pounder. John Scully, 255 at center. Thayer, 258 at guard. Puss Derrick, 260 at tackle, 6'9". And the tight end, Mass Tackle. Georgia with a six-man front. Keel on a roll. Has help. Caught from behind. Dropped at the 46. Eddie Weaver, the nose guard. It is third down from just outside the 45, and they need about seven yards. Keel straight back. Looks for Hunter. Goes the other way, and the pass is caught by Mastak, the tight end. Down at the Georgia 38. The defensive alignment for the Georgia Bulldogs. Robert Miles, Jimmy Payne, Eddie Weaver, Tim Crow, and Pat McShay. Up front in the trenches. Ross Taylor, linebackers, and the secondary, Werner Fisher, Welton, and Hip. First down for the Irish, Georgia 38. All the hand in motion. Keel gives the ball to Phil Carter. Carter is hit. May not have reached the line of scrimmage. President Carter and Mrs. Carter and Amy watching. Second down, about ten and a half yards, and Keel comes outside. Plenty of time to throw it. It is caught, but it was caught after it was almost intercepted. Hunter came up with a ball. They've got to go to the 28. They need two here on third down. They give it to Carter, the tailback. Carter picks his whole penalty flag. is thrown by the umpire. It is illegal use of hands. The referee, Clint Fuller, and it's third down and eight. At about seven. Third down and about seven with double wide to the top of the picture for Notre Dame. Deal gives it to the tailback Carter. Carter is caught by the outside linebacker and brought down short of the first down. Harry Oliver, the left-footed kicker out of Cincinnati. He's two for two from 50 yards or more. This is from 50 exactly. He's got plenty of leg on it. It's good. A 50-yard field goal for the Fighting Irish in their first offensive possession. And they take the lead. Three to nothing at 10 minutes and 41 to play in the first quarter. And we come back. Georgia will have the ball. Mike is a sophomore out of Rochester, New York, and he hits it. And he hangs it up there. And it's going to be returned by Werner. Scott Werner splits him and gets it out to the 21. The starting backfield for Georgia. Buck Ballou from Valdosta. We talked about him. Jimmy Womack, birthday today for Jimmy, the fullback. Herschel Walker, well known now. Amp Arnold will not start the ball game. Chuck Jones should be in there at the flanker spot, and Lindsey Scott is the wide receiver. Here's Georgia now. First possession of the ball game. Down 3 0. First down at their own 21. 
Ballou gives it on a little delay to Herschel Walker, and Walker is out to the 24 for three yards. The offensive line, Jeff Harper, a 240-pound tackle. Jim Blakewood, a 230-pound guard for Georgia. Wayne Radloff at center, 230. Tim Morrison, big guard, 260. Alongside of him, another 260-pounder, Nat Hudson at tackle. And Norris Brown, the tight end, 215 pounds. Second down and seven for the Bulldogs. And they turn, give it to Walker. Walker trying to get outside. Does get outside. Penalty flag down. Look out for this one. Here it is. Holding. Offense. Second down now. Georgia's all the way back at its 13-yard line. They've got to go to the 31 uh, to get the first down. And here's the pitch to Carney Norris out of the tailback. He's got a yard up to about the 14. Ball is up around the 14. The Irish defensive unit, Hankard, Kramer, Gramke, Zedek. They're working on Herschel Walker on the sidelines right now. See if he's injured. The linebackers you saw there for Notre Dame and the defensive secondary reflected there. It is third down and long. Pressure's on Ballou. Can't get away. Brought down behind the line of scrimmage by Joe Rudzinski, number 51. Oh, and he, Rudzinski stayed with him and got him. Malkowitz punts it out of there for Georgia and it is fielded by Krim. John Krim takes it back up on the 43 and brings it back down to about the 41. This ball just outside the Georgia 41. First down for Notre Dame and Keel is still the quarterback. Georgia almost jumped. Blair got back in time. Phil Carter sweeps it off the left side and Carter takes it down to about the 37. Second down and a little more than five. Carter again hit behind the line of scrimmage. Blair Keel and his numbers for the year. You see zero touchdown. Look at Georgia stunning, blitzing, crashing, trying to get the pressure on. And the pass is thrown and completed by the freshman quarterback. Cleet Keel was in the grasp. It's a first down at the Georgia 30. Double wide, top of the screen, new offensive set for the Irish for this ball game. Give it off to the tailback, Phil Carter, the sophomore from Tacoma. Hits down to near the 27. Carter, oh, did he take a wallop? He lost, the, did he lose the football? Nope, guess not. Deal. Too much time, I think. Very, very definitely yep. a big mistake uh, for the Notre Dame football team, Keith. Well, there was a penalty that stopped them last time at Georgia. Out of the shotgun on third down and 12. Keel throws it over the middle, and the pass is just, just tipped away. With five and a half minutes to play, this one is a 48-yarder. He is four out of six from this distance. It is blocked. Number 14, it looked like came flying in, and the ball comes rolling back across midfield, and that's got to fire up the Georgia Bulldogs. It was number 14 who made the play, but the Irish 49. First down, Bulldogs for the first time today on the Notre Dame side of the field with Arnold in motion. Give the ball to Herschel Walker. Hawker gets outside a hankered, and Walker runs it inside the 45 to the 43. Second down and three. The football is at the 43 of Notre Dame, and it's Walker. Walker again, and Herschel again gets around Hanker, and he's got a first down. Let's, let's watch the block again. It appears to me that... Uh, no, that's a Notre Dame man he's going to step on. That he probably, he might have stepped on a Notre Dame back of the offensive lineman, came over the top, number 14. Look how high he is. That's just a sensational effort. He really wanted it. That's what we'd say in coaching. He and it's wanted a first that. down for the Georgia Bulldogs at the 36 of Notre Dame. They've got Arnold in motion. He's coming towards Scott. Double wide left. And Ballou's still got the ball. He wants to throw it. Goes over the middle into a crowd, and he's lucky he wasn't picked off. Second down and 10 for Georgia. They threw it on first down. Ballou gives it to Walker. Herschel running inside. Goes across the 30. Bulls his way to the 27. Johnny Stewart in it pullback now, replacing uh, Womack for Georgia. It's Walker again. Herschel gets a block. And he turns it upfield. And he's got a first down for Georgia at the Irish 20. Counted up. He has only fumbled one time. As a freshman, that's the most remarkable thing I can remember. Lost one fumble in the ninth game of the season against Florida. 
Herschel again into the stack. Doesn't get much that time. Too much muscle there. Second down and nine. And it's Walker looking for a hole inside. Nothing there. Stood up and then decked by Zedek. Third down and nine. Ballou on third down to throw. No chance. No chance. Number 23, Dewerson was coming on the play. Rex Robinson is in the ball game. The story on his season in field goals, you can see. He is a career scoring leader in field goals in the Southeastern Conference. It's a 46-yard attempt. Everything is good. Plenty of leg. It's a tie ball game. So Rex Robinson, six out of nine from that distance this year, pulls Georgia even with Notre Dame. Here's the kickoff by Robinson. 50-yard field goal by Oliver and a 46-yard field goal by Robinson. The ball's bouncing around inside the five-yard line. It was a mistake by Notre Dame. Georgia's after it, and Georgia's got the ball. Georgia's got the ball. Robinson hung the football a mile high, and the Notre Dame backs just ran away from it. They knew they didn't have a chance to return the football, and they thought it would bounce into the end zone, but it did not. It'll be officially a two-yard play. The crowd is roaring. Ballou, a quarterback sneak, maybe half of it. Second down and goal to go for the Bulldogs at the Irish one. Got to be Walker. Touchdown. <laughs> one as a freshman has not missed since. He's got 102. So with a minute and four seconds to play in the first quarter, the Georgia Bulldogs take advantage of opportunity and take a 10-3 lead over Notre Dame. They thought it was in the end zone and didn't go in. Here's Robinson. He puts another one up in the rafters, but this one carries to the end zone, and they're going to come out with it. Jim Stone, and he's got some room. He comes all the way to the 29, close to the 30. Before. He's from Washington State. He's going home to play football. Two outstanding collections of All-Americans and stars. And here goes Keel a mile downfield. Threw it for Tony Hunter. And Hunter was way behind. Keel roll. Getting some heat. Gets away. And gets outside to about the 36. It is third down at about three and a half. As Keel goes back, players in a little trouble this time, and McShay finally got it. Pat finally got it on his third try. Averages a little better than 40. Has no pressure. It's a high hanging knuckle ball. Scott Warner. Warner, who can break that big play on you, brings it back and gives Georgia a pretty good field position. The Bulldogs with five seconds to go in the first quarter, leading 10 to 3. Ballou pitches it to Walker. Herschel runs right over the top of the penalty flag that was thrown. After quarter number one, Georgia 10 and Notre Dame 3. Brent Fuller, the referee, has said the five yard offside penalty against Notre Dame. The defensive team will extend the first quarter, so it's an untimed play, which will close out the first quarter. So this one goes into the book in number one. It is first down and five, Georgia, from the 43. Ballou wants to go deep with it. He does. He's got a man, and it goes right through his hands. Norris Brown, the tight end. Notre Dame is the surprise with 52 yards passing. Meantime, Georgia on second down and five from the 43. Give the ball to Walker, and Walker can't find any room. Norris Brown had it in his hands and let it go. And he was wide open for a touchdown. Blue on a roll. Gets pretty good protection, but he's using too much time. He has nobody to throw it to. He's hit on the sideline. He's a dandy. Oh, that is a Howard, sir over the head of the Notre Dame people and this one does go into the end zone. First down for Notre Dame from their own 20. Georgia leading 10 to 3 with 14 11 to go in the first half. Derek Keel turns gives the ball to his fullback. Ball get loose. Georgia has the ball. Georgia man comes out of the bottom of the stack with a ball. You see it, and number 10 comes in and makes the play. And here goes Herschel Walker to the 15. He's down to the 10 and out of bounds, just short of the 10. 
Walker lines up the eye back. Ronnie Stewart in motion. They've got the two blocking fullbacks in there. Buck Ballou on a roll. He's running for the corner. He's down to the five. He's out of bounds down about the four. Maybe the three. Walker. Sweep to the right. Good blocking. He's in there. Jimmy Womack, the fullback, number 25. He's got 102 in the record book. He's got 103 in the record book without a miss. And the Georgia Bulldogs with 13.49 to play in the first half, recovering a kickoff on the Notre Dame two when the Irish backs receivers did not cover the ball, recovered a fumble at the 22 and both times scored. And a 46-yard field goal accounting for their scoring. Notre Dame's only score, 50-yard field goal by Oliver. Keel from the 43. Gets his pass to the sideline. It's good to Hollihan. Pat Hollihan is caught at the 50 and shoved out of bounds. From the 49-yard line, give it to the tailback and Phil Carter. Hunters on this side lined up against Mike Fisher, the other corner. First down from the Georgia 47. Give it to Carter. Phil Carter pops it up the middle and he paid for it. Blair Keel back to throw it. Throws it short to the fullback Buchanan. Buchanan is caught by Welton and shoved out of bounds. Keel now with 99 yards on 10 completions and 19 tries. On third and two, Keel almost falls down. Weaver's after him, gets his pass off, and Holohan makes a sensational catch. Feed Holohan. Holohan's caught four for 44. Give it to Carter. Phil Carter on a sweep and a hold. And the sophomore busts his way down inside the 20. To First down at the Georgia 19. It's the tailback, Carter. Carter is actually fell over his own man. He fell. Man for man. Man for man. That's right. He's right facing. Heel back looking for Hunter. Goes to him and Hunter's got it. And Hunter's loose and Hunter's inside the five. First and goal to go. Notre Dame at the two. Carter. Oh, not much there. It looked like there are 11 red shirts waiting for him. Everybody, all of them. Second and goal from the two. Hollihan, motion. Tailback, Carter. Penalty flag. Penalty flag. Offside. Defense. Right. His second down, goal to goal. Carter over the top. Touchdown. Broke the plane. And finally, Notre Dame gets a touchdown at 54 seconds to go in the third quarter. The one for Jordan. The kick by Oliver is good. And so, with 54 seconds to play in the third quarter, it is now a seven point lead for Georgia. Mark Malkowitz has got the punt out of his end zone. Notre Dame, if they handle the ball properly, will have very good field position. Probably inside the 50. The kick is away. Not very long. Tail dragger though, and it takes a Georgia bounce. Durison feels it just to preserve the yardage, and he's rolled down. They sent Holohan and Hunter double wide to the open side of the field. First down from their own 46. They're a touchdown away from the Bulldogs. And the conversion. And the ball goes to the tailback. And Phil Carter gets loose in the secondary, and he is caught and tripped up. Otherwise, he would have picked up another 10 or 20. Give the defense very little room to make the tackle. Second down and one. Carter again. Carter goes slipping through the middle. Gets it down to the 40. And it. Stone. He splits it over the left side. And he's got big yardage. Second down four from the Georgia 34. Blair Keel. Got to keep it. Whoa, that's a dandy little move by the Notre Dame quarterback. As Jim Stone has it. Second down eight. 
Carter breaks a tackle, gets close to the 20. Carter now 103 yards in the ball game for the Irish. And the try by the Notre Dame tailback Carter has his legs taken. Oliver today has kicked a 50 yarder, missed a 48 yarder, was blocked actually, and missed a 30 yarder. And here's the kick from 38 yards, and it is no good. It is no good. Bulldogs lead 17 to 10. Their offense has been nil so far in the second half. Buck Ballou yet to complete a pass today. Having trouble getting loose. A penalty flag is down. Ballou is caught back to the line of scrimmage again and dropped at the 16. Now we get another penalty flag. Stirred up. It is against Georgia. The first call. Unsportsmanlike conduct call goes against Notre Dame. And from the 32 now, first down. They get it right. Give it a Walker. Up the middle goes Herschel. He gets it up to the 35 before he is thrown back. Second down to about six. Walker's got it again. Oh, did he take a wallop? Bob yeah. Crable hit him right on the helmet. Third down and six. Again, play action pass. Blues pass is away. This one is caught by Lynn. No, he didn't hold it. Lindsey Scott finally got a chance to make a catch on the snap. Snap is good. Pressure is on. Kick is away. Pretty good kick. Forces Krim into a fair catch. Back at his 26. Finished third another time, but have never finished number one. They're trying to do it this year. Blair Keel on a roll. Put his pass in the air to the sideline, and the penalty flag is thrown. They have some I believe it's offensive interference. It is. Also an ineligible hit. They've got to go to the 38, 37 to get the first down. Keel with a strong arm goes deep for Hunter. It is intercepted. Picked off by Mike Fisher, who read the play well, came around Hunter to make the interception. And it's turnovers that are killing the Irish. But let's see what Ballou can do. Can he finally get the Georgia offense going? He's going deep for the corner. Throwing for half final, and it's almost picked off by Tom Gibbons. Second down and 10. It's Herschel Walker. Notre Dame looking for him. They get him. Third down and eight. Up the middle goes Walker. Short of the first down. Brings up fourth down. It is a 48-yard field goal attempt, and it is huge. The importance of this kick is enormous. It is up high. It is long enough. It is no good. It is no good wide, apparently, to the right. They truly have. They've been out there the whole half. The Georgia offense has just been nothing in the second half. The Irish has shut them down. Down the sidelines. Hunter can't get to the ball. Second down and 10 for the Irish from their own 31. Shotgun. Keel over the middle. Complete. Out to the 38. Third down and two. Keel keeps it, throws it to the sidelines. Incomplete. Snap is good. Kick is away. Warner circles, calls fair catch, and fields it at the 22. Buck Ballou gives the ball to Herschel Walker, and Walker is caught behind the line of scrimmage and ridden down by Bob Prabo in the second half. Walker again trying to get to the sidelines. Pinned in over there and caught at the 20. On the throw, Ballou puts it up deep. Pass is incomplete. Morris Brown, the tight end. Two men back, nine man front. Now the Irish peel back, no pressure, and the kick is out. And a fair catch by Krim, and Notre Dame owns the football. All right, Georgia defense lines up. Six man front against Notre Dame. First down, Irish, they're 42. Keel turns and hands the ball off to Carter. And Carter gets around the corner, butts heads. Second down, three. 
for Notre Dame at midfield. Keel keeping. Looks downfield. Caught. Drop. Back at the 45. And it's third down and eight. Out of the shotgun. Georgia coming. Pass thrown short over the middle. Pass is caught by Nick Veer. Brought down by Chris Welton. But it is short of the first down. They could have used it earlier. Fourth and one for the Irish. Keel still got it on fourth and one. He gets his pass off. It is intercepted. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The 2.56 to play in the game. From the 34, Georgia's ball. Ballou on a run. Run all the way. Out of bounds, stopping the clock, but net free, he had to catch it. He's a human being, he just had to come down with it. On second down, they give it inside to Herschel, and the Irish stop him short of the first down. As you know, third down. They can get a first down here. It'll be an upset in the second half, for one thing. But secondly, it'll give them a chance to run off time. They've had two so far. Here's Ballou on a keep. He gets away. He's got the first down. Well, he can't throw the ball today, but suddenly Buck's trying to run it. Now you have 225 to play in the game. Walker is caught by Hankard. And they'll give his progress just about the line of scrimmage. George is two minutes and 16 seconds away from their first national championship. Two minutes and 16 seconds as Georgia now on second down and 10 give the ball to that great freshman running back Herschel Walker and he runs out of bounds in the hands of Scott Zedek. <laughs> Ballou puts it in the air, throws to Arnold. Arnold comes down with it and it's a pass completion. His first pass. Four more snaps of the ball. The clock running now at 1.55 to play in the game. And a penalty flag flutters into the air as the play goes inside the Walker. It is. Offside. Defense. Another mistake by the Irish. Well, Notre Dame only has one time, no, one time out remaining. Here's Herschel Walker running all over the field. He just sticks his head down and burrows right into the three Notre Damers, but they tumble him out of bounds. But First down, just inside the 30, and it's Walker again. Getting some blocking in front. Gets to the outside. Goes down at the 25. Ranked number one. And now time is called. Georgia running out the clock. 35 seconds. Just 35 ticks away. It is third down and about 11 for Georgia after the penalty. Ballou rolls it out. He just wants to run around and kill the clock. He's going to run as long as he can, keeping in the field of play. Notre Dame with no more timeouts remaining. We're now inside 25 seconds. And, and a team won the national championship without making mistakes, Keith. That's what you talk about. They didn't make mistakes, and Notre Dame did. The crowd, almost uncontrollable, comes storming onto the field to surround both teams. The game is over. Georgia has won 17 to 10. Riding on the shoulders of his Georgia football player. Look at him out on the field. Celebrating something that every person that coaches football, or plays football, or follows college football, wants a national championship. Keith, I'm thrilled for him.